Dubbed as the end game for coffee grinders, this is the coffee grinder that knows no boundaries. This is the widely renowned coffee grinder, the Weber Workshop EG1 coffee grinder. And yes, Weber Workshops is now officially in Malaysia. Hey guys, I'm Fujun from Lamasa and in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Weber Workshop EG1 coffee grinder. It began with the HG1, Weber Workshop's first offering into the world of building heirloom coffee grinders. The fancy hand grinder was replaced by the HG2, and Weber has released a number of grinders ever since, such as the Key, the SG1, and also the Molan salt and pepper grinders. The EG1 was first released in 2015 as the first super high-end single-dose grinder, and in 2019, they released the Mark II. And just three years later, we have the Mark III. Now, just a glance of the EG1, and you'll know that this is not your average coffee grinder. In fact, it looks more like a high-end telescope straight out of a science fiction movie. The EG1 is definitely not a small grinder. Standing tall at 45.6cm in height, 24.5cm for width, and 23.5cm for depth, it weighs about 13.5 kilos. Nothing about the EG1 can be considered subpar. It is primarily constructed from high quality materials to ensure durability and precision. The body is made from anodized aluminum, which provides a robust and lightweight structure and a resistance to corrosion and wear. You have the fan at top here, and the funnel is also removable as it is magnetized. You can adjust the grind size by lifting the collar and bringing it down to the desired grind size. There are two buttons at the base. One, to start and stop the grinding, and the other is for the adjustable RPM and to perch. The grind speed is adjustable from 500 RPM to 1800 RPM, and I really love the old school style of the display. Adjusting the grind size from Turkish fine to filter appropriate and back again is effortless. Yes, it is stepped, but it is precise to 5 microns for each step. This allows for easy switching between types and styles of coffee without the effort and waste of cleaning a grinder and purging or redialing in. The EG1 comes with an RTT, a brush, and the famous blind shaker by Weber Workshop. You can place it directly on your porter filter. However, I find it more satisfying to just release the grounds away from it, especially for filter as it looks extremely visually pleasing. It also allows for a much cleaner workflow. The knocker is very satisfying and it works really well to get those retentions out. The oak platen is adjustable as well and it magnetically centers your blind shaker, just like the base on the right that also comes with an anti-scruff leather pad. The EG1 comes stocked with Weber Workshop's very own 80mm core blind burst, which I'll talk about later. The EG1 is probably the easiest grinder to clean without the need of tools. The top and bottom funnel caps form a clamshell grind chamber and are secured together using sets of strong rare earth neodymium magnets. This is the easiest and cleanest grinder on earth and possibly beyond. And if you need to do a deep cleaning, all you need is an Allen key. The Mark III version of the grinder has made significant improvements over its predecessors, most notably with the addition of the dedicated perch button. Located in the center of the RPM dial, this button operates differently depending on whether the grinder is running or stopped. When the grinder is stopped, pressing the button will reverse the burrs for one second and then spin them forward at full speed for another one and a half seconds. This action dislodged any small particles stuck in the burr or wipers enhancing the already low grind retention. When pressed during grinding, the perch button temporarily maximizes the RPM to clear out any remaining granules of coffee from the burrs. Internally, the grinder has also seen significant upgrades. Weber Workshops has enhanced the electronics and developed their own firmware, which may be updated as needed in the future. The EG1 practically has zero retention. Sure, there may be a margin of 0.1 grams at times, but it's nothing that a little RDT and a knocker won't fix. Now moving on to the burrs. Weber Workshops came up with their own core burrs, an 80mm blind burr set designed to be used for everything, from filter coffee to espresso. 
they are magnetically mounted and do not have the screw holes commonly seen on this burr setups which can be a collection point for old coffees. The core burr produces bodies similar to conical burrs which has nice clarity of flavours and tactile experience. As Weber workshops have mentioned, the EG1 is perfect for filter and impeccable for espresso. Of course, you can always swap the burrs to your own preference as there are plenty of other 80mm burrs out there. There have been reports of the EG1 stalling, but this is a deliberate move by Weber Workshops to prolong the life of the motor. It's a very rare occurrence, but if it does happen, just press the push button and you're all set. The Weber Workshop's EG1 stands out as the perfect grinder for any barista due to its exceptional blend of precision, innovation and versatility. Its advanced design features such as the dedicated push button ensures minimal grind retention and easy maintenance, enhancing the overall user experience. The grinder's robust build quality combined with state-of-the-art electronics and attention to detail allow for unparalleled control over grind size and consistency, making it adaptable to various brew methods. Furthermore, the EG1's straightforward workflow coupled with its ability to handle a wide range of coffee types makes it a valuable addition to both professional and home barista setups. Its sleek, modern aesthetic ensures it will complement any coffee station, while its performance capability ensures that every cup of coffee brewed meets the highest standard of quality. Ultimately, the Weber Workshop's EG1 is not just a grinder. It's a comprehensive tool that empowers the barista to achieve their best results, making it an indispensable asset for anyone serious about their coffee. For those interested in purchasing the EG1, you can find it in the link in the description below or simply just visit our showroom. If you have any questions regarding to the EG1, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Now, if you excuse me, I will bring this grinder back home first. Thank you very much.